everyone, my name is Michelle and I was a previous teacher for 11 years and taught first grade. And one of my favorite math manipulatives to help teach number sense is a rack and rack. Now, many people I hear call this an abacus, but it's not. And so we are going to discuss how or what a rack and rack is and use it in some activities and some examples along the way. So a rack and rack is a color-coded, hands-on, easy-to-use math tool that helps to build that sense of fives and tens and leads to the development of relationships of numbers and operations. So to get started with a rack and rack, we need to know how to use it. And so what we do is we start with all beads to the right-hand side. This rack and rack, it has a lot of benefits in the classroom. One of the main benefits that I saw with my students is getting to know the fives and tens. And so when you look at this, you can easily identify five and 10. So if I move the first set of red beads, I know that that's five. If I move the second set, that's another five. And five plus five equals 10. And you can do the same thing on the bottom. You can also recognize that if you have both sets of red, that that's also 10. So five and five, and you can move the other set. Five and five is 10, another five is 15, and then this would be 20. So this is our 20 beat rack and rack. Another uh, thing, once we get those numbers, is being able to subitize making different numbers. So I'm gonna move the beats back to the starting on the right hand side. So if you are asking a student to create an eight, instead of them going one, two, three, they can very easily identify that this is five and then they would need six, seven, eight in order to make eight. If I ask them to make a six, they would do the same thing, five and six. So they are learning about the, using a five and a 10 when counting, and even with bigger numbers. If I asked them to do a 14, they would know that the top is 10, and then they can also move over four to make 14. So uh, the color coding really helps identify those fives and tens. Lastly, after they're learning their numbers, you are going to use this for addition and subtraction. So for addition, we're gonna use those numbers that we just talked about, which is eight and six. So if I move eight and six over, we can then start learning different strategies. So one strategy is our double strategy. And let me tell you, I use this all the time. So if I have an eight and a six, and I wanna know that, I'm gonna move the red, the, sorry, the whites over. And I can see here that five and five is 10, and I have four whites, so 10 plus four is 14. We can also do it where it shows six. And if we're doing doubles, it is six plus six equals 12, and two more equals 14. So the students are then seeing that eight plus six equals 14. And the same is for subtraction. So, but you know, we start with the big number. So let's start with our 14. So if I start with our 14 here, they can see that there's 14 beads on our left-hand side. So then we're going to subtract four and then we're going to subtract two more and we get our eight. So 14 minus six equals eight. So I hope that you learned something about a rack and rack please be sure to check out the description below to go to the website to check out some uh, Rec and Recs for either your home or your classroom. And if you really enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe.